everybody's really excited about the next Call of Duty game. We're talking about COD 2024, Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. We got trailer leaking out, release date, zombies. And understand this, people did forgot about the $80 monkey punch that we had a couple of days ago. Yay! Like the video if you do not want any more monkey punch in the games. Dislike the video if you love microtransactions. All right, check this out. Roll the hype Wait train for, for the next Black Ops game has Wait just left the station. As in this video, we are talking about the reveal date for Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. Because okay. the reveal date might have just leaked. This is extremely exciting because we've all been waiting with bated breath to see when the next Black Ops game was going to be revealed, announced. And judging from the sources that are reporting this news, is very Incredible. likely to be real. So if you're Yay. excited for the next... Next Black Ops game, yeah. and you want to make sure you don't miss. If you're excited, like the homie uh, Mr. Oh, Dalek JD, oh, I'm shaking. Yeah, definitely like the video. If there's guys. any piece of news on it, you need to hit that like button hit and subscribe like button, with yeah. the bell. But jumping straight into things, according <laughs> okay. to The Verge, as well as Insider Gaming, who we've spoken about many times before on the channel, they are reporting that this year's Call of Duty game, Black Ops Golf War, will be featured at this year's Xbox Damn. Showcase. This Yo. is the equivalent to Microsoft's Yo. E3 conference for this year. And according to The Verge, the understanding that this is set to take place on Sunday, June, June 9th. 9th. Well, seeing yeah. as Microsoft now own Call of Duty, it would make sense for them to show this as one of their yeah, games yeah, as yeah, part yeah. of the showcase. Yeah, a Call of Duty is no longer a third party game. It's now oh. a first party. <laughs> it's now a first party Xbox game. Yeah, this thing is modded. So it's like theirs kind of makes sense, right? But I wonder like, okay, so we, we apparently got the release date for uh, Black Ops Gulf War, but do we have the release date for uh, a friendly I hope there's no more friendly UAV online, guys. Like, listen, man, this is... And if this does end up being true, which it very likely is, it's going to be one of the earliest Call of Duty reveals that we've had in many, many years. Many, but many that's years. only the half of the news as it gets even more exciting. As okay. Insider Gaming can corroborate that this is indeed... This is Microsoft and Activision's plan for the game, but the game is currently set to be revealed prior to this showcase Holy. in a more traditional fashion and outside of Warzone. So I expect, like, trailer probably a day or a week before and then on june 9th we get like campaign demo kind of with that information in Makes mind sense, that yeah. means that the game is set to have its gameplay reveal on june 9th for the xbox showcase but the game itself will be announced and revealed earlier than that potentially in the same and there were also leaks saying that like zombies uh pre-order bonus is gonna go live early they were talking about like a couple months early as though like some maps gonna be playable a couple of months early uh, yeah I, I hope he talks about week it, as the xbox showcase like we've seen with prior call of duty reveals where the announcement and the reveal trailer drops and then a few days later we actually get campaign gameplay yeah, and if yeah, that yeah. all ends up being true then that puts us in the round of monday the 3rd of june all the way up to sunday the 9th and again if this all is true and lines up that means that the marketing and the teasers for the game could start even sooner than that yeah, potentially yeah, yeah. even <laughs> this month if not at the start oh. of next month which is okay wow well, yeah which is insane Oh, man. One in the comments if you're excited, two if you're not. I'm I'm personally not excited, but I'm like keen uh, because it's Treyarch, right? We're hearing that by the time it comes out, it's going to be four years. So I'm intrigued and interested to see like where it goes. And if this time Call of Duty turns out to be bad, I guess everybody's going to say like Call of Duty will be back in 2025. You know the Call of Duty situation right now <laughs> comes out every year. So next year it will be saved if it turns out bad this year. I hope it's good though, to be honest, but extremely oh, no, exciting. Man. Look, I don't know extremely, about you, but yeah. I am so ready at this point to just dive headfirst into a new Black Ops season. I want cryptic marketing. I want clues. I want all of that stuff that we all know and love so much on the lead up to a reveal of a Black Ops. Thinking back to the excitement and marketing lead up to the Black Ops Cold War reveal. Oh uh, man, Call of Duty YouTuber is going to be Call of Duty YouTubers. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Yeah, bro. It is crazy. After, bro, this is insane. They have dicked us down so much. They have cock blocked us so much. And even after all this, we are excited. Man, only Call of Duty fans can be excited for it. That's, that's incredible. Crazy, now, according to Insider Gaming, it's understood that Golf War will be revealed prior to Summer Games Fest in June. And the showcase so. that we will see on the Xbox showcase will feature some form of deep dive into the game, presumably a campaign mission walkthrough if they go the traditional route. As okay. far as the time frame, so when we could hear more about multiplayer and zombies, Insider Gaming assumes that we could hear more about the multiplayer in August and then yeah. zombies soon after. 
after. And the game is- Yeah, I expect the, the multiplayer beta to be like in September. Uh, zombies revealed probably by the end of uh, September. It, um, but, but they're saying that pre-order bonus is gonna go live early. So if they are really gonna drop zombies early, then I would not be shocked if they were to reveal zombies and everything on June 9th at the Xbox showcase. Knowing that this is gonna be like the, the first time uh, it's getting back. But yeah, Call of Duty was Xbox. Uh, it was getting like exclusive like one month early. One month early DLC, I believe up until like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 3 is when like it switched to PlayStation. Then PlayStation ended up getting like uh, one month early DLC. Then later on they made it like one week. And now they sometimes make it like same day. But beta uh, weekend usually is like first on PlayStation. That's how it was. But Phil Spencer did say that he's not gonna do that. He's gonna like make it so like it, it comes out same day for everybody. So I'm expecting beta and all the, the the content to be day one on Xbox, PC, and, and PlayStation, which is good. Uh, so uh, and but but we also heard that zombies are early access. So if that's really true, then I think they're gonna reveal they're gonna blow all their load on June the 9th rumored to it. be released this October, which is a lot sooner than most Call of Duty releases. So as soon as it gets revealed and announced, I feel like time is just going to go so quick. And before you know it, once we've seen gameplay, the multiplayer reveal will be shortly following it and then we'll be in the realm of the zombies hype. And with this rumor of the game being shown and potentially revealed so soon, it makes a lot of sense as to why Treyarch have just announced earlier in the week that they are stepping away from Modern Warfare Zombies development. Right. So now Bruh. we know so when Call of Duty 2024 comes out, they're also gonna step away from Call of Duty 2024. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's gonna happen. You know that's gonna happen. And before we get to the climax, and before I show you the best part, guys, I wanna say if you wanna help support the channel, consider becoming a member by clicking the join button next to the subscribe uh, bell. Uh, shout out to all the members. Shout out to all of you that are members on the channel. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. So a rough rumor time frame for when Black Ops Gulf War is going to be revealed. Let's go over everything that is currently known so far about this year's Call of Duty okay. game, which of okay. course is rumored to be developed by Treyarch and it will yeah. feature an open world campaign developed by Raven Software. Multiplayer and zombies will be handled by Treyarch. Gulf Bruh. War's campaign has apparently been built from the ground up rather than using assets from previous entries like we saw with Modern Warfare 3's campaign. Currently, the game's open world will see the player and their squad navigate the map more akin to that of a Far Cry game than anything. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, thoughts on this one? W or L? I mean, I I love open world games, but with Call of Duty, nah. Seeing how bad they butcher Modern Warfare 3's campaign, you know, it was supposed to be a patch, a DLC for Modern Warfare 2022, but these suckers were like, okay, we, we got so much content and we need to sell it for $70. I, I mean, miss me with that, bro. Like, get mama, okay? And if this circus ends ends up like taking aspects from Warzone and put it like recycle it for campaign, it's Joe over, bro. And that's uh, what a lot of people are feeling like. Part of me feels like, okay, listen, I don't. Yeah, deep down, I'm not really excited about uh, excited to hear open world for Call of Duty because of their past history. But like, there by the time it comes out, it's gonna be four years. So if now the game turns out bad, then there is no hope, though. But yeah, everybody's still gonna say like in 2025, Call of Duty will be saved, so. I think seen before in the Call of Duty universe. It'll be so big that you'll need to utilize vehicles to get Man. around as well as using a fast travel system to get from one point to the next. Okay. And for those worried about this format, sources have confirmed to Insider Gaming that some linear missions will be integrated into the game, which will be just like the traditional Call of Duty campaign levels we all know and love. The campaign will feature the return of some favorite Black Ops characters, including Russell Adler, who will be a part of your team. The campaign okay. will lean into more traditional military compact gadgets and tech seen in older Black Ops games instead of the more modern and futuristic take on weaponry we've seen in recent titles. And, and we're also hearing that in 2025, it's going to be like Black Ops 2 remake, not necessarily a remaster, basically remaster maps for Black Ops 2 and also new maps as well. And I know on paper, it does sound good. And like a uh, track is the last studio remaining right now that can 
perhaps make a good game because their last game was black ops cold where it was made during the running situation and to be honest with you guys like that's if i want to play call of duty that's the only thing i play i rarely play nowadays i uh, rarely play call of duty nowadays but if i want to play call of duty i jump on black ops uh, cold war uh play a couple of games on nuketown 24 7 they still got the playlist going skill based matchmaking doesn't feel that that bad also the maps are small G gunplay is good gameplay feels fast as well it feels call of duty actually so i do uh, do enjoy enjoy my time and on top like i can throw like a youtube video in the background listen to a podcast and still enjoy my time without actually being hooked on the game and playing like my like my life depends on it without without the audio too yeah when was the last time you tried playing call of duty without audio i i yeah man back in the days that's how i used to play or sometimes if i'm playing with my homies then we would chat but but like nowadays you cannot chat right like as uh, if you say one bad word there goes you get banned uh, how many people uh, how many of you got banned because of the ai chat in call of duty that the story will tell a nuanced narrative on the gulf war that will focus on the different factions involved in the conflict when it comes to multiplayer there's already been a few leaks suggesting that slide cancelling tactical sprint mantling and ledge hanging will make a return as well as some tweaks to dolphin diving which will be more advanced and more impactful oh, wow. a lot of the multiplayer oh, wow. perks as well as actual weapons inside the default loadouts have recently leaked as well as quite a few of the multi player maps which do include some remakes of classic black ops maps like firing range and grind the zombies is without question y'all yeah! sick is crazy y'all sick is crazy now listen i'm not i'm not against the idea of remaster maps i think remaster maps are cool whenever we have like good amount of original and good original and new content sure you can have remaster maps all you want after that but but nowadays it's like Every leak is like, remaster maps coming. Every new content comes out, guess what? It's remaster maps. Like, oh man, like what, oh. bruh? You're, you're telling me that this thing is gonna have four years and be stuck with remaster maps? Come on, bro, miss me with that, bruh. Get my mob, dog. In the most exciting and most promising mode for Gulf War, as current leaks suggest that the game will have two zombies maps at launch. Man. One that is gonna- Bruh. Two maps? Can a brother, can my brown ass get to see like more than two maps? Gonna be set in a city, specifically with a bank, church, and city. police tape. Transit. And the second map being set on an island with an elevator. Yeah. Island map. Island map. Oh shit. Oh, the shit. ep island. I cannot say that that the full word, but the ep. Ep island. No. So that takes you to an underground prison and lab. A very exciting gameplay addition for everything in Zombies with Gulf War is that apparently a system similar to the Gobblegum machine will be returning. Some sort of consumable items that you can use within matches, which is really exciting. We know narratively it will be set five. It is exciting, but is it oh, this oh, exciting shaking. though? Now listen, I actually like the 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 Gobblegum idea all the way back in Modern War, not Modern War, uh, Black Ops Three. I love it. I know a lot of people also loved it and a lot of people didn't like it. The way I see it is that it's like they had a really good earn rate. So when you would play the game, you would get liquid dwindium. Yeah, sure. They also monopolize it so you can go ahead and like buy. But Black Ops 3 Zombies gameplay was so fun and the story was kind of engaging to the point where you felt like playing the game. And I had no life that game. So I was earning liquid dwindiums naturally and organically. And it was always fun to go in the, the, the liquid dwindium shop and then use those uh, earned liquid dwindium and turn them into gobblegums and, and with gobblegums it's like i remember a lot of people would use gobblegums and a lot of people would also do a thing where they would do uh no gobblegum challenge no perkaholic challenge because if you remember perkaholic would give you all the perks in the game like quick revive jug stamina up speed cola double tap everything right so in some ways it was quite fun because like if you if you did not want to invest your time like getting everything ready to perks it was like easy mode it was kind of fun and the way i see it is that video games are meant to be fun so in that aspect it was quite fun but if you want a challenge hey man don't use perkaholic don't use any gobblegums and it was still quite uh challenging unless you were to double pap and get like dead wire and those pack a bunch uh, abilities right i enjoyed every aspect of this game dog because you had the option if you want challenge then do not double pack a bunch of guns just pack a bunch once and that's it 
right? And you would feel, you would get that old school flavor, but you pack a punch and then you got that new feeling as well. And you can go for high rounds and uh, speed up the high rounds as well. Because in the past games, you know, getting to like round 100, <laughs> yeah, you would have to leave your console on for a long ass time. And guess what? What what comes with leaving your console on for a long time? You would have to pause your game though. Yay! And nowadays these suckers have a hard time implementing a pause button. Do you know like how hard? Uh, or, or it's not hard. We had it back in the days. But do you know how much people cried about like, uh, and rightfully so, uh, uh, cried about like getting a pause button in Call of Duty Van Garbage because I remember it didn't. Now I'm not sure, but I remember them adding a pausing button guess uh, guess uh, guess what guess for how long you could pause in vanguard zombies two hours yeah back in the days you could pause your game till your electricity bill uh, electricity ran out or your power went out or you forgot to pay your electric bill Bruh. you could have paused or your console went to console heaven right you could have paused for a good but vanguard you can only pause for two hours though years after the events of Black Ops Cold War in the 1990s. We also know that the Zombies mode will contain a brand new wonder weapon that seemingly yeah. causes enemy skins to start bubbling. Very similar wow. to the effects from the KT4 wonder weapon yeah. from nice. Setsubo Noshima. There is apparently a new dog variant that- Original content, new content guys. Wonder Weapon from Zetsubo no Shima. There is apparently a new dog variant that will be added that has tentacles, which could be themed to match the island map, as that will apparently contain some sort of pirate ship. But the bigger, most important thing is that this year is round-based zombies. Yeah. We have no idea if an Outbreak-style open-world mode is going to be there on top of round- uh, Honestly, I don't mind Outbreak. I really don't mind it. I think Outbreak is good. And also, like, us getting- I, I believe it was called Onslaught, right? Where you can play zombies on multiplayer maps. I don't mind that at all. Like zombies on Warzone, I don't mind that at all. But this should all be like a bonus, you know, like an extra content. This should not be the main content because they turned zombies into multiplayer. This isn't even zombies. We need original content, actual zombie maps with zombies crew and pausing button as well. I, I I know, I'm sorry guys. It, it sounds like hilarious when <laughs> players are like, hey man, can a brother get a pausing button in the game? Can a brother get a pausing button? What are we talking about here? How, how are we in 2024 and we still struggling for like a pausing button? Just blows my mind, right? So, uh, but seriously, I hope we have a zombie screw. The way it's going, I feel like that we're not gonna because they want to sell like those uh, BBC bundles uh, and, and microtransaction skins and they want you using that in zombies as well. M missed opportunity, man. Like, come on, y'all. Y'all suckers can have that in Warzone. Y'all suckers can have that in multiplayer. Why have it in zombies? Can a brother get... B because like there's so many studios that tried, attempted, and failed to have a proper battle royal. Battle royal is right now it's like we're end of its cycle yeah fortnite killing it yeah warzone killing it right now but it's like War battle royal is getting old right now you know there's so many other companies that tried and failed zombies on the other hand so many other companies tried and failed and guess what yeah for battle royal you got fortnite you got C uh like PUBG, and you got some other you know like uh battle royal game you also got uh call of duty warzone battle royal but zombies nah bro there aren't many zombie games yeah sure there are zombie games but like there i don't even know if there's a single game that hits the same as call of duty zombies you see call of duty zombies has its own unique audience like suckers love it man it's it has a huge fan base i'm one of the biggest fan of call of duty zombies but i'm not fan of this mediocre modern warfare 3 zombies or van garbage zombies black ops cold war zombies gameplay was fun but outside of that it's like it was still mediocre in comparison to black ops 4 and black ops 4 zombies was uh mediocre in comparison to black ops 3 zombies you feel what i'm saying it's like we're getting progressively down right now i really hope they realize that zombies is like really really unique they have a fan base 
and they can have a lot of people playing their games because of that because they don't have any competition when it comes to zombies but but i don't know how they feel to see that bro like it's, base, it's but we know for sure that round base is happening another really interesting thing about zombies is there is a chance that we could be playing it even earlier than we expect the gaming website windows central posted an article back in november that stated that activision were toying around with the idea of Toy a around? zombies early access as a yeah. pre-order bonus where players could get access to zombies a week if not weeks in advance of the main game's release now yeah. this isn't an uncommon practice with activision as for the last two years we've seen them release the campaign a week early as yep. part of a pre-order early act yeah for campaign it makes sense but for for zombies i hope they don't release it and call it like beta and then it's like you get the full game and there's nothing new anymore <laughs> You know, I, I always hate that idea. It's like multiplayer comes out in beta and we play it and everybody's kind of bored off it and everybody's like having assumptions that when the game comes out, there's going to be new content. And guess what? We ends up getting like two new maps. <laughs> Two new maps and they call it a full game. They call it a full game. I don't want to see that happen to zombies. If, if you're going to release zombies early, then only do one zombie map early. And the, the next one, you know, when the game comes out, you get it then. I think that would be actually cool. Or if you're going to release both of the maps early, then call it like full zombie release, but you can play early. All right, fair, fair, fair. But don't be like, okay, we're gonna release both of, the, both of them, call it beta, and when the game comes out, there's nothing extra about it. Then it's like, you know, people are gonna automatically assume when the game comes out, it's gonna be a bit better when it's not gonna have anything new, if you feel what I'm saying. And recently, this is what Activision just did. I'm not sure if you got to see it or not, bro. This is an absolute insane situation. If you have not seen it, guys, definitely check it out. On the left, though, we got another crap going down as well that you need to see check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there